Hey everybody, just wanted to uh, give you guys another video today because I just got done scripting and getting a the beginning of the game to where you can let the person choose their name and choose a class. And the class that they choose is actually going to look at look like whatever sprite you want it to look like. And it won't just be the same person um, and then just changing their class instead. So I'm going to show you what the product of what I did is. Okay, so you saw there, there's the background, there was the scrolling, um, then I did a fade out, um, then I did the name, and then I let you choose your character, and then I faded it back in after it transported you to the next map. Okay, and I'm going to show you um, how that worked with the script. Okay, so obviously it's auto run, none of this other stuff matters. But the first thing I did was I added the, uh, the music. And then after that was the scroll, uh, scrolling text. Okay. Uh, for the map itself, if you go to properties, you can select the graphic that you want, which is the background. Okay. No loop for the scroll type because you don't want it to keep going. Okay. And then after the scroll, I did the fade out. Brings up the black screen. So when the character is created, you can't see it. That's why we do the fade in and fade out for such things like this. So it's hidden. Uh, you do the text line in order to uh, ask the questions. And then you do whatever script um, input that you need. Like, what is your name? Uh, name input process here. Uh, you can do more than six characters for the name process. But if you do that, there's a possibility it's not going to all show up inside the chat bubble. And then the, uh, what here are you, or what class are you, show your choices, well, you're Archer Mage Shooter. Okay, and I watched the video earlier today, and what I did was different from what he had done, because he had made it to where James was every single one of them, but the class changed, and I didn't want that. I wanted it to be that whoever you picked, there's a sprite that looks like an Archer, or a Mage, or a Shooter, or a Warrior. And not always a warrior looking like everything. Okay. And then uh, after that, there's this change HP entire party plus 9999. It's just so to make sure everybody has capped off HP MP when, when it starts. And then you transfer the player to whatever, wherever you want on the map, the other map. And then you fade back in so that they can see it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and show that. Okay, so the show text is here. The scrolling text is here. Uh, and by the way, uh, this arrow doesn't mean crap because uh, I tried following this margin and it didn't work at all. And it's actually like way over here and you got to keep your text within there because otherwise you just it'll go, you won't be able to see it. I, I, I mean, I guess I had to make the uh, the map a little bit bigger is my guess, but I didn't. So, whatever. 
and then uh, let's show the change party member and change class. This is what I was doing before and I couldn't get it to work because all it did was change the class of that actor over and over and over again when you did the selection. And that's not what I wanted. Obviously, I wanted it to be a different person for each class. I didn't want it to be the same guy every time because mine's a single player um, game and not a party type game. So instead, you do change party member. And then you add whoever for whichever class. You should know who, you, whatever name pertains to whatever class. That way you can just straight up put them in there. Um, and for that, you can go into your database, go to your actors, and you can see who's what class. And then after, uh, let's see what was after that. So after the choices, so so choices, actually I'm getting ahead of myself. So we want to do the inputting name. So after the fade out, which the fade in and fade out is right here on the screen effects. You just click it, all it does is put that little fade out or fade in now. Okay, so when you want to do the name processing, you put name input processing. Okay, and then you can do the max characters. I always I just leave it at six because of that whole thing that I said earlier. And then when it comes to the choices, okay, so you do show choices on part one, whatever you want. You can do more than four, but you have to branch it, and there's a looping that you have to do. It's not easy. All right, it's it's not like it's super hard, but it's a pain in the ass. And then. After that is the change HP, which is under the actor right here. So change HP, increase, whatever you want. It's not a permanent thing. It just keeps the HP and MP at maximum when they spawn in the game. Okay. And then transferring the player is under movement right here. Transfer player. You pick the map, obviously. And then, okay. And that'll run it just fine, actually. The... I picked it right here on this on this second map because here's the first map with nothing on it because if you put anything on there it's going to show up I just wanted to have the background and I just I wanted the event to roll the scroll the the letters and everything over it and do everything else on top of it you can do whatever you want I mean if you want to put you know bushes and whatever you know give it some kind of scenery type look or whatever you could do you could do that it's not gonna make a it's not gonna hurt or anything you know it just depends on what you want to do but that is the end of this tutorial uh, if you have any questions go ahead and ask them um, I haven't got any comments on my first one yet uh, so I don't know whether that's good or bad but I'm, I'm trying to make these because it's stuff that I'm figuring out and somebody else that might be on the same path that I'm on might need to hear this stuff and that's why I'm creating these videos as I go. Um, but if you want to see more in-depth on the animated battle systems or anything like that, there are good videos out there. But if I guess if you learn better from me or something, you can ask me. I can make some. It's no big deal. I don't mind doing stuff like that that I've already done. I have already installed the animated battles, animated actors, and um, done those things. I actually fixed the archer, um, the archery stuff, sort of shooting, and so you can see the arrow flying through the air and things like that um, and it's really cool with the animated because whatever weapon that you put on the character he actually uses it during the battle which I think is is pretty neat so uh, I'm gonna end it there and have a great day guys